Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to change background and keep the original shadows in Photoshop. Start by duplicating the layout and always work with smart objects. Now let's cut out the product using pen tool. So always use pen tool for professional results. So we'll show you why we are not using any object selection tools in a minute. We got an example with that also. Okay. So after selecting everything, make your selection by Ctrl press and do. And go and click on the layer mask icon for a mask. Now we are going to make a new composition. Actually in Photoshop's case it's not composition, it's canvas. So we are going to make a new canvas for our product. Now we will paste the product here. So we are going to work here for the shadows. And adjust the size according to your preference. I think this looks okay. Now duplicate the layer and delete the layer mask for the bottom layer. This is going to be our shadow. So now we are going to make a rough selection with lasso tool. After selecting the shadow, click the layer mask icon for a mask. Ok now we will change the background color for a better understanding. Ok you can use any colors, plain color also no issues. This looks ok to me. Ok we will go with blue for now. And always save your PSDs. Ok now we have the product and shadow in different layers. Now we will work on shadows. Now we will change the blending mode to multiply. And what multiply does is hides everything perfectly white and brings everything perfectly black. Now you can see the result is not perfect. We got some hard edges. So first we are going to remove the hard edges. For that I am going to use curves adjustment layer here. So bring a curve adjustment layer. And click that icon for a clipping mask. And take the slider on the right left slowly we just want to hide the edges so stop it there this looks perfect now we'll add a hue saturation layer and drag the slider for saturation to minus 100 or in one word desaturated and if you want you can always play with the lightness Ok now you can see we got the shadows perfectly. Let me change the background for a better understanding. I think this red looks perfect. Here we will add one more color for a better understanding. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I got one more example to show you. Let's jump into that. Okay, this is a second example. Here we are going to use the select subject. Go and click on select subject and wait. Photoshop will do the selection. But now you can see the selection is not perfect. Press Q on your keyboard for a quick mask. So now you can see which parts are selected and which are not. The part which indicates in red, if the area is not selected, that's not going to be in our mask. The part which is in actual color going to be in our mask. So now you can see the mask is not perfect. Okay, with the cube mask, you can draw or erase the selection with the brush tool. Click X on your keyboard for toggle between, draw and erase. Okay, 
press Q again to hide the cube mask. So now we go to selection so we can repeat the same thing. Make a mask by clicking the layer mask icon and duplicate it and delete the layer mask for the shadow layer. So now we are going to make a rough selection with lasso tool. After selecting the shadow, click the layer mask icon for a mask. Now we'll change the blending mode to multiply. In this case, we are going to add the hue saturation layer first for the shadow. And decrease the saturation to minus 100. And you can always play with the lightness, no issues. I'm going to leave it there. Add a curve and adjust it according to your image. In this case, this looks perfect. And you can always change the background. Yeah, I'm not gonna play with the background color for long. I'm gonna leave it there. Now back to this one. Let me show you how I did this. But I'm not gonna make the complete tutorial on composition with the current composition because it's not the right way to do that. We'll make a wonderful video on composition in future. Okay, let me explain how I did this. If you are taking the shadows with the product, you have to match the shadow with the background. In our case, light is coming from top left and the shadow is at the right corner. So everything matches perfectly. So we'll paste the product here. And if you look into these shadows, these are blur up. So we have to blur up our shadows. So I have added a Gaussian blur first for our shadows. Now you can see the blur values. Next thing is the shadow is pretty much darker. So we have to darken our shadows also. In that case, added a curves. Then I have added some shadows with the brush tool selected. Draw some shadows there. And the next thing I have added is the reflection. So if there is that much black there, this part has to be black. With the same brush tool and flipping mask. There were some white edges, so I made it black. Next one is a solid color and the blend wing mode is set to color. You can see that. So I will provide this PSD for your better understanding. I am not explaining everything because this is not the right way to explain a composition. And next we have added two curve adjustment layers for the overall lightness and coloring. And you can check the curves in the PSD. And you can download the PSD and it's free it's in Google Drive. You can download it. And this is not the right way to explain a composition. That's why I am not explaining it as a tutorial. And finally I have added one more color there at the soft light. And just I have masked the center for the depth, okay, the overall thing is black, so with the black it got a depth. Now you will see the before and after. I know it's not much, but it looks decent, right? I think it looks decent. And with that being said, that's all I have you for today. And if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe to your channel. Really, if you can subscribe, that will be great. It's a small channel your subscribers will have. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let's see you with a new video.